friends welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you've watched some of my videos before if you haven't watched any of my videos before my name is jessica and i'm a final year phd student at the university of aberdeen and i study in the field of natural products chemistry so it is almost 2 p.m and as you will already have seen i woke up quite late today because i'm working from home i don't know if you could tell but i'm actually a bit sick at the moment but I actually I'm not at home because I'm sick I'm at home because I don't have any lab stuff to do until this afternoon and I really needed to work on some data that I've acquired for a paper that I'm writing in collaboration with my collaborators in France if you haven't seen about my France research trip I will link one of the videos up here if you'd like to see what I got up to during my secondment slash internship in France but yeah I can safely say that I've not been in a very good headspace <laughs> this morning I have been questioning all of my results. Sorry, I just had to sit down for a second because my arm was getting sore. Yes, I've been questioning all my results and I honestly don't know why. The errors are fine, the data is fine, the method is fine, but for some reason I am just questioning everything. So I think that's the headspace that we're in today, but I have been in a really deep focused zone for the last few hours, creating error bars, creating graphs, uh, representing the data in different ways, and I've managed to set up a meeting with Dorsaf, who is um, the other PhD student that's going to be co-authoring the paper with me, and we're going to go over my results this afternoon, we're going to see if we're both happy, and there's also some results that I feel like I need to redo, which I would do tomorrow, so I want to get her confirmation if she agrees on which samples to retest tomorrow. So that's what I've been up to so far today. I have to make some bacterial cultures this evening. So I sent a text to my group chat uh, for the lab to see if someone could remove my plates. So that has been done now. So that is fantastic. And yeah, my meeting's in about an hour. So I'm going to sit down, do some more work and then have my meeting at 3 p.m. on Zoom and then go to the lab. So I will bring you with me and show you a bit more on what a day in the life is like for me when I'm half at home and half in the lab. These are some of the perks from working from home. I am making my classic Nutella hot chocolate because it was really, really cold here. I have to try and make me feel a little bit better, but I couldn't be doing this if I was in the lab, could I? So I'm just going to make my hot chocolate and then get back to some work. So while I'm drinking my hot chocolate, I'm going to plan for my meeting at three o'clock. I am an anxious person. I like to be prepared for meetings because I get scared that I will forget to say something or that I will miss, you know, the main points that I'm trying to get across when I'm trying to describe my results. So I like to make some bullet points just in a little Word document or write them down physically um, just to help guide my thought process during a meeting. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to show you actually some of my graphs that I've been making today, but I'm not going to show you the whole picture because I don't want to give away my results, obviously, but I just want to show you because I am trying to look for the good in these results because they have caused me so much stress today. <gasps> okay, so here is one of my graphs that I've made. So I can explain a little bit what this is. So I'm basically trying to see how DMSO uh, dimethyl sulfoxide affects the bacteria that I'm using, but I've not mentioned here what bacteria because, again, I don't want to show too much because I'm not really sure how much I'm actually allowed to say. Oh, I'm missing error bars. That's something I need to make to put on this graph. So you can see that the DMSO is not really affecting the growth of the bacteria, which is good, which is kind of what I was hoping for. And then here's another one, which is a slightly different focus uh, for how DMSO affects something. But again, I'm not going to tell you uh, just now because I don't want to give away too much. But this one does have error bars. So you can see what I mean. The error bars are just these lines here, which kind of show you. It, it shows you basically the range of error for the result that you presented here, because I always uh, test my samples in triplicate. So then I get different values for each of the replicates. The error bar basically just shows you kind of how widely spread the data is because here I'm only showing the average value. Oh my god, my voice is so husky today. <laughs> so this is another one of my graphs. So I've made some other graphs that look like this as well. I've got eight of these, I think. Yeah, so I've been very busy making graphs today. And again, these have errors. I needed to copy and paste over all the errors and make sure everything was correct. And it takes up a lot of brain power, trust me. So for my recent paper that I had published, I didn't actually use Excel to make my graphs. I used a program called Sigma Plot, which we basically have a license through the university to use this software and it makes a lot nicer looking graphs but honestly I have so many graphs in my thesis and a lot of them I have already made 
and I made them using Excel. And I know Excel isn't the prettiest, but at this point, I'm kind of like, do I go back and change all of them to look prettier and waste my time doing that? Or do I just stick with what I have and accept the fact that an Excel graph does not look as nice as, you know, one made in Sigma plot or one made with R or something like this. And I honestly think I'm at the point where I just need to stick with what I've done because I still have a lot of things to do and not very much time. And I feel like changing figures in my thesis to make them look prettier is just unnecessary <laughs> at this point. And the little bit of perfectionism in me is really trying to push through and is trying to win with uh, changing the figures to make them pretty. But I know that I have other things which are more of a priority. Also, look how dark it is outside and it's only half past two. It's been getting dark here around half past three, four o'clock. And honestly, I am struggling so much with these early evenings. <laughs> For my motivational levels, it's really, really not good at all. So before my meeting, I just wanted to show you some of the books that I've been using for writing my thesis because if you've watched my What is Natural Products uh, video, you will know that I study marine invertebrates and the compounds that they produce. And I've been writing in my introduction about the different types of marine invertebrates that I have tried to isolate compounds from. So these are just some of the books that I've been using to introduce the different species that I'm working on. Um, of course, this is all about natural products. Uh, biosynthesis of natural products because one of the compounds I've isolated I also try to suggest a biosynthetic pathway so basically a mechanism of how the organism is producing the compound and I've also got a book on bryozoans I realize this has turned into a bit of a random vlog with me showing you lots of different bits and bobs but I thought that might be useful for some of you guys I personally have not used a physical book in such a long time so it's actually been quite refreshing to flick through an actual book instead of you know, reading stuff digitally. Hello! Hi Jessica! Hi, hi, how are you? Yeah, yeah. How are you? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> everything is so, so crazy. <laughs> I know, I know the struggle, Jessica. Oh, yeah, how, how are you getting on the same? Same. Uh, I mean, I look uh, uh, all put together, but in my mind it's... Uh... A different story. Hello, hello. I have finished my meeting and as you can see, it is now dark outside and it's only 4 p.m. But I finished my meeting. I feel so much better now after discussing my results with Dorsaf, who I'm collaborating with on the paper. She has been telling me she's been having the same issues and yeah, I just feel a lot better about everything and she is happy with my results. I just have a few things I'm going to redo tomorrow because I'm not too happy with some of the results. And then we are going to... Yeah, send it off to supervisors on Monday and then start properly writing the discussion for the paper. For now, I'm going to go into the lab. I need to prepare my overnight cultures to use tomorrow for the bioassay. And then I'm going to come home and then my day will be over. So let's go to the lab. So I was actually chatting to one of my lab colleagues while I was preparing my cultures but basically I put the liquid media into these falcon tubes if it's going to focus and then I took one of my colonies from each of my bacterial plates, the one that I was asking my colleagues to remove from the incubator this morning. So you can see my bacteria growing on here. I took one of these with a little sterile loop and popped it into the media and then hopefully overnight they will grow nicely in the incubator. So now I need to take power film. I need to wrap these up and put them back in the cold room ready for tomorrow. My bacteria are shaking in the incubator until tomorrow and now all I can do is try not to think about them until I come in tomorrow morning. 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that little insight into what a day in the life is sometimes like for me, working from home and coming to the lab. It is now quarter past five. I'm going to go home. I'm going to try and relax for the evening because yeah, I've been a little bit stressed and a little bit confused today. Thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.